Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw the reader's attention towards your study area. Study areas are typically just a boundary of your area of interest, and in QGIS there's quite a few simple ways of tweaking a symbology to really draw the reader's attention to your focus area. Now, let's get dive into it. In this instance, we really want to focus on the Opera House. So, first off, I'll create a shape file called study area, it's polygon, and let's toggle the editing and develop the boundary for our site. So I'll toggle the editing, create a new polygon. And I might just kind of trace the landform around the area. Uh, it's pretty messy, but should be good enough for purposes of demonstration. <laughs> but right now it's black, it's pretty bland. You can barely even notice that there's a polygon around it. Whilst the Opera House is the center of my frame, it's not really, I'm not, my eyes aren't really drawn to it. There's the ship on the left there, the botanic gardens, etc. So let's have a play around with the symbology layer and see what we can do to make it stand out a little bit more. So starting off, one thing I like to do is I might make a copy of this line and layer on top of it, maybe something a little bit more contrasting. So let's say maybe not red, maybe yellow. Red, red is good, but red also has negative connotations. So when you make this boundary that's red, you sometimes can associate with being a bad thing. So something neutral like yellow might work a little bit better. Uh, we can make the underlying black line a little bit thicker, and yellow a bit smaller. So like that, it pops out a bit more, which is looking good. And I guess it now comes down to like personal preference and taste. Sometimes I like to do maybe a dot dash line um, just to bring it out a touch more. I think that looks okay. Now the next thing we can do is because our area of interest is the Opera House and nothing outside of it, we can perhaps try and kind of blend out everything outside of the Opera House. So to do that, there's a built-in feature in QGIS called inverted polygons. So instead of a single symbol, we can now drop down and go to inverted polygons. Once we're here, we pretty much want to add a fill. So we want to fill everything outside of the polygon. So I'm going to just to add a simple fill here by clicking the plus button. And let's just select a kind of grayish color. I'm always terrible at picking colors using this, but we'll get there. There we go, something like that. Looks all right. Um, so if I hit apply, you can see that now all we can see is the Opera House. I might also drop this down a little bit. So what that does is gives the yellow and black lines priority. But we still want to be able to see a little bit behind the gray area. So all we have to do is add some transparency here. So I think 70% is typically a good amount for this kind of purpose. Like that, now we've really drawn our eyes towards the Sydney Opera House and everything else is grayed out a little bit and you know that's kind of how you draw your reader's attention to your study area um, just through the use of inverted polygons and slight tweaks to your symbology layer. Back in the day before inverted polygons it was a little bit harder to do but still quite simple but you'd have to um, you'd have to create a big polygon way beyond your study extent and then clip the little hole inside of it and then fill that polygon with that kind of grayish area but now with the inverted polygons you do it at a click of a button it's really simple so hope that helps uh, let me know if you've got any questions or comments uh, in the comments section below and look forward to seeing you in the next one